This week, I thought I'd share my plans and show some of my preparations for my upcoming sewing projects. I wear fall clothes pretty much year-round. Where I live, there are really only three seasons. So I don't need much. The patterns that I will be sharing and the fabrics that I'll be sharing are a selection of what I have in progress or is very near in progress. One of the projects that I'm most excited to make are the Mitchell Trousers by Closet Core Patterns. The Mitchell Trousers were just released recently and there are a few different views. I'm using a green stretch canvas. I chose the view with the wide leg without the D-rings and it has double welt pockets I haven't sewn welt pockets before, but I do know that Closet Core Patterns has really great thorough instructions as well as illustrations. For the Mitchell trousers, I am using that green fabric and I also have some leftover floral that I'm going to use for the pocket lining. It's a Robert Kaufman Sevenberry print and it's really sweet and charming and the green shade matches the trouser fabric really well. So one of the projects that I'm most excited about this fall is the Ashling Top by Paper Cut Patterns. This is a top or a dress. I think I will make the dress, I'm not sure, but the view that I want to share with you shows the this really beautiful high ruffle collar as well as these beautiful sleeves and the fabric that I have in mind is Fingers crossed is a very close replication of what they showed on their pattern image. The fabric is a very soft, smooth linen, and you can see it's a little bit sheer, it's a little bit transparent. It's perfect for a blouse or a dress. I cannot wait to see how it turns out. I will make a video on this one, so stay tuned and you will be able to see how it turns out too. Next on my list is the McCall's M7493. This is a Regency style dress that I'm making for my daughter for her Halloween costume. I have my fingers crossed that it's an easy to sew pattern and that it comes out really well because I really want to make one for myself. But she chose out of my stash this really pretty blue floral fabric. So I think that it'll turn out really sweet. The only concern that I might have is the sizing. It's not a girl's pattern. It's a regular Mrs. size pattern. I think we're gonna do a sample and do a mock-up or toile and see how the sizing works out. This dress does have a lining and I happen to have in my stash sheer gauze that I think will work really well as a lining 
for this fabric. There's an incredible coat pattern called the Rumana Coat by By Hand London Patterns. The pattern instructions do make a recommendation that it could be made in a wool or a wool blend or in a linen. So when I saw the linen recommendation, I thought that would be perfect. And I actually have a really nice heavyweight linen in a really nice kind of overcoat neutral shade. I recently watched the Netflix adaptation of Persuasion and you know, this is not a movie review, but in terms of costumes and the designs that they had in that, gorgeous, stunning costumes, beautiful designs. Something that stood out to me was the linen overcoats that many of the characters wore. It has a nice wide collar that wraps around into a wide lapel and a single closure in the front. So while it's not, it's definitely not an exact match for the costumes that are in that movie, it's, it's a pretty close approximation and I think that this linen would be really great for that. I do have a lining in mind. This is a lining that I had in my stash. So it may not be, I'm looking on my screen, it may not be the best match in terms of a lining, but I think that's okay. I, I, I don't mind. It is a Bemberg Cupro lining. I purchased this from Core Fabrics. I bought it to use for another project but I think that this is really the perfect use for it now. I really also wanted to, with the Rumana coat pattern, to get a good idea of sizing. I know that I'm going to shorten the length of the coat, but I'm also not sure how well the shoulders or the back will fit, so, or around the hips. So this will be a good test. Both of these fabrics I already had in my stash, so I'm not purchasing anything new here. So I really have my fingers crossed that it will be a great match and pair together and I'm already really excited. So stay tuned on that one as well. So I feel like it wouldn't be fall or autumn if we didn't start getting into some plaids. I've had this fabric in my stash and I originally wanted to make a patina blouse out of this. And I still might because I've got a ton of yardage. I'm also considering making the Fiber Mood Sienna top. I think that that could look really nice in this fabric. I am not entirely sure what this will be best for. I also wanted to get your point of view. If you could let me know what you would make with this fabric, I would love to hear. I am not, I'm not certain what type of dress, blouse, or maybe pajamas. I don't know. I don't know what I would like to do with it. I just don't want to see it hidden in my stash any longer. So if you have any recommendations or suggestions of tops or dresses that you've enjoyed, please let me know. Thank you so much for joining me as I shared a few of my fall sewing plans. If you're at all curious about what I made in the spring and summer of this year, you can check out that video. I will link it here at the end and I will see you again next time.